Hi guys, welcome back. This week we are going to be doing something uh, a little different for our videos. Um, we never kind of claim to be experts, but this video is going to be asking all about your advice uh, on our beekeeping. This was our first year um, that we tried out beekeeping, uh, and our bees unfortunately did not make it through the winter. Um, all the bees died off probably about three weeks to a month ago, and we did notice in the late fall too that the queen uh, even though we found her had stopped laying for some reason. So um, we're going to do an examination of our beehive to see if we can see any clues um, and kind of ask your advice on a couple of different things. We did do a post on Facebook um, where some people thought there may have been American fowl brood and we'll show you uh, that photo as well so you can see what you think. I don't particularly think it is but um, yeah we'll go through we'll get your advice so if you want to do a response video or if you have comments or any helpful tips uh, that you want to leave down below we would definitely appreciate that so um, let's get into having a look at the hive so we're gonna go into our top box first here that um, they made some decent progress on not really any on the uh, outer frame so um, we're just gonna take those out that's what we were starting with and um, one of the things we'd really like to do or learn um, from this inspection is whether the frames that have been built out whether we think it's safe to use those um, Next year we have more bees coming in the spring um, And our hive this year they were all building their comb from scratch It'll be really nice to give them a bit of a jump start this year um, with some built out comb um, If it's safe to do so, but if there's also problems, we don't want to uh, You know harm the new hives because they're taking chances. So um, we'll get into these Some of them a little later you'll see um, there was a decent amount of honey, not tons. Um, some of the bees we found uh, that we'll show you in the bottom box were kind of uh, head in with their butt sticking out, which normally means that they are starving, but there was still a decent amount of honey in this hive. Um, so we're not sure if it was from starving or just from the cold. Um, it doesn't get that cold here. We're in more of a damp climate, so you do know other beekeepers on the island. Uh, it's not uncommon to lose your hives. We're in the Pacific Northwest, so we get lots of rain and dampness. Um, but doesn't get that cold this year. It did get down to minus 10, but they had died by that point anyway So it, it wasn't the cold that uh, that killed them. So Decent amount of honey there. Maybe we'll take a little bit. Hey, hey for all our work we put into <laughs> that we'll take a little bit of honey, but um, Going into some of these hives these were kind of Kind of half and half some of them were used for for brood and storing honey in there as well Or maybe those are all honey actually um, You can see they sort of cap some around the top but some good frame build outs um, as well. So let us know what would you would do with a frame like that as well with the uh, the honey, if you would put that back in for the bees to eat next year. Um, we've been told to freeze the frames, so we will probably put any frames we're going to reuse into the freezer um, just to kind of kill off any mold. There are some mold on some of the other frames, which we'll show you soon here as well. So going into our fourth frame here. Again, fairly heavy. There is some some capped honey in there. Um, this is one of the parts I'm kind of confused about. I'm sure it happens anyways normally, but that guy is sort of died head in there, which normally means they're hungry. But there's tons of uncapped honey that he could have eaten, as well as kind of all the capped things uh, that are along there. But again, if we can, it's safe to do so. We'd love to get some of these frames back in um, our hives that we're getting in the spring, just to give them a bit of a jump start. Uh, for the hive next year, give them a head start over what they had this year. So a lot of these middle frames are fairly kind of similar, half capped, half not. Um, this was the top box, so it was we didn't have a queen excluder on there, um, but it was mainly honey in the uh, in the top ones. Yeah, again, so in this one, there are kind of a clump here of ones that are kind of butt in and are signs of being uh, hungry and needing food. But again, with the amount that was in there, that just doesn't seem correct to me as well. So um, another question, also let us know what you would do if you were going to reuse this frame and you think that's safe, whether we should pull these bees out or just leave them in there and the bees will clean that up um, when they kind of get into there next year. But 
Not sure whether we should remove those and they'll start decaying or whether they'll be okay um, just to stay in there and the bees will clean them out in another month or two when we get them in. Yeah, there's a pretty big cluster on that side actually with the same thing with them all kind of butt in there. So again, frames like this would be really nice to use. They're a nice built out comb in the middle there. Um, doesn't seem to be, even though we mold on these ones, so it'd be great to throw those ones uh, back in at some point next year to help them. Same thing on that side, a few, few combs of hap, capped honey, but not, uh, not too much. And then these, I think there's kind of even less and less as we move along, so a little bit of comb on those ones. Um, and then the last two are totally empty. So we'll uh, stop there on the top box. No point looking at the empty last two. And uh, we'll get into this lower box here, which is a bit more interesting. It's got some mold. Um, that's where people think they may have spotted uh, American Fowl Brood, which, again, I don't think that's the case. But you can let us know what you think. Um, so let's get into that one. So even on the outer frames of the lower box, they were doing pretty good. Um, some capped honey up top, which looks really good. Again, that's pretty much all capped. So maybe we'll choose a frame and take a little bit of comb so we at least get something from uh, this year's work. There's starting to be a little bit of mold forming on the bottom. Um, we did post on our Facebook at Loving Off The Land uh, about that as well. A lot of people said uh, mold wasn't a big deal, though, clean it up. Um, there goes our ducks. Um, <laughs> So we will kind of freeze this. A lot of it was kind of actually just blowing off as well. So um, yeah, we'll put that in the freezer to make sure we kind of kill anything off. But uh, that's got a whole side of empty comb that's been kind of built out, which would be great for them to use. And that's like amazingly clean comb. I don't even think they ever used that. It was this comb that was kind of ready to go on the outer frame on frame 10. So it would be nice to, uh, yeah give our newbies a head start. We're actually gonna get um, three hives as well. So here's another question actually for people. Uh, we are in Canada on the west coast. The bees that we got, uh, which most of the beekeepers on the island got, were actually from New Zealand um, because they've just sort of come out of their summer so we can get them earlier. So we actually started our bees in March um, to give them a bit of a head start. Um, but we don't know maybe if they're not used to kind of the wetness and the dampness that we get here on the west coast maybe that had something to do with it um, so this year we are actually doing two hives uh, from New Zealand again in March and we are going to get one more uh, local package in May just so we're kind of be able to compare the two as well and see if that kind of had anything to do with it with just being acclimatized to things which other people did have colonies here that survived from New Zealand so I'm not sure if that's why but um, we'll do a bit of experiment and, and test out both so um, let us know if anyone else has got bee packages from kind of different climates and, and how that worked out for you too. Okay, we'll get into frame nine here. And these are kind of where it gets uh, a little bit more interesting. These are more of the brood cells. So you can see there is some mold that's developing on there. Um, again, we had a, most people when we posted this, I would say about 95% said, don't worry about the mold. Uh, if you put these back in, the bees will clean it up. And a lot of this mold will blow off. Just careful, baby. Don't just go anywhere. I do it, but and you'll see that kind of cleared it off. So we'll kind of do that with most of these frames before we put them in the freezer. But then we are hoping to put these frames back in just because they are built. They look super, super clean, other than that bit of mold in there, which is um, great. But we will post the ones where people thought they did potentially see uh, American fowl brood, which isn't something we've had a problem with on the island or has been an issue anywhere really, so I don't think it is that, but I'll see if I can find the frame that we did that photo of too. Most of these are going to be pretty similar. Again, there's kind of more mold on these as we get into the middle, but a lot of that does seem to just be blowing off, so I won't do that on every one of the video. Did I get ya? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, so I won't do that anymore <laughs> on this one so I don't get into trouble. Uh, but we will kind of blow these off um, before we get them in the freezer. But those are some pretty nice clean looking um, cells as well. Um, on the back it does look like some kind of uncapped honey. 
uh, in a bunch of these. You can kind of see on the top there. This may have been, this isn't the one, but I don't know if it's just gotten a bit of mold in there or it's going off because it's not capped. Um, I'll come around and do a bit of a test in one of these. You can kind of see, we'll do a, a picture so you can zoom in on this, but it just looks like a bit of kind of debris in the bottom of these combs here. So we'll, we'll take a picture and see if we can get a good one of it so you guys can see what we're talking about. But I think it's just kind of some mold and some growth that's growing in those combs just because they're uh, uncapped. And again, same thing now with the mold. I don't know, like, where did I stick go? I'm surprised that there's, this looks like honey that was in here. Well, it is, but maybe that's another question why that much would have been left uncapped because uh, all of these have honey in them, but kind of none of them were, were capped and you can kind of see some of those bits in the bottom there. So not really sure, but again, we'll blow the mold off. Um, we'll freeze those, but let, you, let us know if you think there's any kind of issue in doing that because we don't want to compromise our next hives. Same thing, so a lot of really well built out frame in our our lower super there. Same thing on that one on both sides. And I just want to find, I can't find the one where people thought they saw. Again, some capped honey up here, so we may pick one of these frames just to get a little bit of uh, some honey from everything we did this year. But yeah, we just wanted to, first year hive, we wanted to make sure we leave them enough food so we didn't take any. Now this one's heavier, that's got quite a bit of honey on the other side. Yeah, I'm not sure but I just can't see because of the mold now. And you can kind of see these ones here. So let us know what you think we should do with cells like that. If we should clean them out or just freeze it and let the bees deal with it, uh, deal with it next year. More capped honey on the top of uh, that side. That should be nice. Yeah, I don't know if I can tell. It's probably just because of the mold, but um, we'll show you the photo that we posted on Facebook. Um, of that frame again so that's a really nice built out full frame of uh, comb that doesn't even look like it's been used yet so um, I think things like that will definitely freeze and get in there for those guys to start off of uh, on next year and nothing on that last frame there so um, yeah that is kind of it for our uh, our winter inspection a bunch of questions um, it's been a lot so maybe we'll kind of post our questions uh, in the first pinned comment there down below and uh, yeah if you want to do a response video to go through some things or uh, even just reply with any answers and uh, tips that you may have that would be greatly appreciated because uh, yeah bees were probably one of the favorite things we did this year so we're excited to, to keep learning and keep this going and uh, hopefully have some successful hives next year thanks guys hit subscribe below and we'll see you guys next week